What's happening? It's your boy Fredo Bang. Shout out to the Honey Mob. You checking in the Real Field TV right now, live in action. Yeah, let's go. Come in, nigga, real quick and go ahead on and get these hands. Uh uh, nigga, straight up and down, nigga. Mm, nigga. That's how I got to get it in right now. You already know it's the Real Field TV. You already know it's Top Cat 100. Straight up and down. Nah. We want to talk about Boosie, and we want to talk about the Bang Man real quick, man. We want to run this story across you real quick because of the simple fact that you already know that they're related, and you already know that we've been speculating for a minute. But in recent interviews and recent blogs and stuff like that, you know Boosie been doing them. He basically said that, man, he won't do business and, you know, actually do songs with Fredo Bang because he's still in connection with Boulevard Mail. And this is what we got to realize right here, man. We've been on this, bro, because we already know the story, and we already did the story of Boulevard Mail and how he finessed Boosie out of some of his money along with his cousin. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think that that's something to hold against Fredo Bain because Fredo Bain was, I guess, not even in the situation at that time. But being that he carried the TVG stamp, I guess Boosie felt like he had to do it. But what everybody got to realize about this is Boosie and Boulevard Mail might not keep contact on everyday basis anyway. You understand what I'm saying? And that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying nobody beefing or anybody got any, you know, type of ill will towards each other, but it's just the Bane man up on the move, and he handling his business. And you got to understand, Boulevard Mail, he got to survive how he got to survive, and he got to sit out here, and he got to make a way for himself. You know, everybody got to eat off the TBG stamp the way they have to eat off of it, bro. And this is what people got to realize. When you up under a stamp and you up under public publicity, you got to use it in your best advantage, man. I mean, you got to rep what you rep and can book the shows you got to book depending on your work ethic, man. So the Bane Man and Booster don't really got nothing going on personally, per se, bro. All I'm going to say is this, that everybody got to realize that family don't mean that you're going to sit up here and, you know, act like business doesn't matter. You know, business does get in the way of family sometime, and family get in the way of business, if you get what I'm saying. Boosie just trying to play it smart because he feel like it's a lot of rats and it's a lot of roaches and it's a lot of people that's just sitting up here trying to get clout off of his name and that's trying to get a come up off his name. And Boosie trying to keep his circle kind of small right now. So with all that being said, that's what's really going on with the Bane Man and Boosie, man. If you really look through what he's saying inside certain interviews and he's seeing and you paying attention to what he's saying, then he's just trying to say that Boulevard Mail is in the way of them even doing the song together. I mean, I don't think that he's going to leave, you know, Boulevard Mail's side as far as stop associating with him off the strength of some money that they feel like they didn't take from him in the first place. I mean, the stories out there that everybody did of Boosie and his cousin taking from him, you know. So it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know. I'm out.